We're in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. We've just started our trip to the Black Hills. This will be our seventh year at the Motorcycle Rally in Sturgis as part of the American Baptist Church's Emergency Services Center. Uh, as we go, we'll tell you more about the kind of ministry that we do, but we're going to go ahead and have a word of prayer. We're going to hit the road, and we're going to see if we can um, look for some divine opportunities, some open doors along the way. Let's pray. From Omaha, we traveled west along Interstate 80, turning north at Grand Island up Highway 2. The trip took almost 14 hours to arrive in Deadwood. This cribbage board made out of a toilet seat was found in Red's Cafe in Myrna, Nebraska. On the way up, we visited Carhenge in western Nebraska. It was built in 1987 by Jim Reinders. In 1982, after the death of his father, he was looking for a way to memorialize his father, so he built it on the same land that his father used to farm. ABC Emergency Services is located at 110 Sherman Street in downtown Deadwood. Most people who come to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in the Black Hills each August have a great time. The riding, the camaraderie, the shopping, the music, the food combine for a memorable experience. For some, however, the week can be tainted by negative experiences that range from inconvenient to tragic. I'm Jeanette Williams from Vermilion, and this is my sixth year coming to Sturgis to help with the rally. And one of the calls I went on last night was in the middle of the night. A lot of what we do is pick people up at hospital emergency rooms once they've had an accident because they're in the hospital, their campground's somewhere else, their bike is somewhere else, and we try to just help where we can. And for instance, the young fellow we helped last night had um, always, always, always wears his helmet, but last night he did not, and he fell off his bike and injured his head, seven stitches in his head, and um, and a pretty banged up collarbone, not broken, but some things torn. And he was from Colorado, and by the time we picked him up at the emergency room, it was probably three in the morning, and he just wanted to go back to Colorado to be with his two little boys and his wife, and realized how lucky he was that he, that he wasn't injured worse. And when, um, Rick was with me and asked how about the bike, asked him about the bike. He said he didn't care about the bike as long as he could go home to his two boys. So that's the kind of thing we do, um, just try and help where we can and just, just make it a little easier when someone's running. Bev Boslow from uh, Norfolk, Nebraska, with First Baptist Church at Norfolk. Uh, we were uh, talking with Chris Wilson. He comes up here, it's been his fourth year now to come up here and assist people. And, and uh, I've always wanted to do some type of mission trip to help people and thought this would be an excellent opportunity for us to come up here and, and uh, just see what really goes on and, and uh, have, have some interesting talks with other folks. Maybe we could just bring one more person to Jesus. That's our, that's our goal. Is to, if we could just get one to believe, that's all we need. Just one more each time. So uh, that's basically it. We, just, we haven't been on a call yet. This is our first year. We're staying in Rapid City with some friends of ours. So we were waiting for something to go on down there that we could assist and everybody wouldn't have to come from clear up here. So, so when we're just fixing to head back there right now for tonight and get ready to go, I guess. Carpenter. Uh, this is my fourth trip here to Sturgis. The first time I drove straight through from Illinois, about 16 hours, uh, with just gas stops. Um, it's. I've been retired, uh, retired science teacher. Been retired for about 13 years. Uh, enjoy doing volunteer work of all kinds. This is one of the, one of the uh, types of volunteer work that I do. Work a lot with Habitat recently. Um, my favorite stories from there. Last year, I think the first guy that we picked up hit a deer going 100 miles an hour and, and split the deer completely in half. He was still standing. Uh, he, he thought his leg was broken, but uh, he ended up being okay. Just uh, pulled muscles and bruises and so on. Uh, then there was a, 
a few years ago, somebody hit a mountain lion, killed a mountain lion at the edge of Sturgis, a year and a half old mountain lion, right about the end of the rally. Uh, there was that story about the the wealthy guy that rented a cabin and he got drunk and fell off the deck down into a canyon and he called us to come and get him, uh, to take him to his private jet. I think that was the only person we ever accepted a tip from. Uh, other than that, I, I need to write a book. I need to write all these things down because every incident is different. The most normal case is to pick up somebody from the hospital and take them back to a campground. But uh, it's uh, very rewarding to help people. And, we have a lot of downtime where we just sit around and talk to one another, and uh, it's that's enjoyable as well to hear other Christians uh, share the testimony and so on.